What's going on everybody? Hope all is well. Today I'm going to show you how to effectively flay a trout in the quickest way possible and it will be boneless by the time we're all said and done. So I'll show you my flay station real quick here. I have my flay knife. I have, if you can see it, my trout right there. I have my bucket I sit on. I have the bucket for the carcasses and then I have the bucket of water that I put the flays in. So we're gonna give this a shot here and I'm gonna show you guys the most effective way of cleaning a trout. So I'm just gonna set up my tripod here. And hopefully it's on the trout, I can't see. Okay, so there's my trout, right? I'm gonna turn it this way quick. I'm gonna cut it right here. And then I'm just gonna take my knife, make sure you have a sturdy knife. See that knife's sturdy. And I'm just gonna slide it across the backbone. all the way out. I'm gonna flip the fish around. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Just right along the backbone. Flip that flay over, cut that off. Get that fin out of there. All right. So that's done. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna see these ribs here, right? You're gonna take your knife and you're gonna cut underneath these ribs. And that'll get all the rib meat out of that. Throw that in my bucket here. Right here is the pin bones. So what you wanna do is you wanna feel the pin bones with your hand. I felt them. I'm cutting along the pin bone line right now. Then I'm gonna come in underneath, and I will cut underneath of them, and then this should pop right up. So, there you have it. Beautiful filet of fish that is boneless now and ready for the smoker. All right, beautiful. Nice orange meat. It's going in my uh, filet bucket. Washed it off a little bit. And we come in again for these ribs. You're just gonna go right along the ribs. I missed one, so we're gonna have to cut that off. And as we're coming down, you just flip the ribs over, and you can just cut them right off, just like that. Then we'll cut this piece off right there, that rib. Okay, so now it is ribless. Now we just gotta feel that pin bone. So the pin bones, you'll feel them, they go right down the middle. So I'm just gonna cut right along the middle of that trout there. And I'm gonna come up here and cut down the middle of that trout. I feel more bones, so I missed some. So I'm gonna come underneath from the back again, cut up a little bit more, and then cut down and in. Yeah, you're losing a lot of meat doing this. Not a lot, but a little bit that you would rather eat if you like the bone in. You just flay them up, flay those ribs off, and you're done. Um, I like to get the pin bones out. And that is the pin bones fully out of there. That is a boneless flay of meat now. So there you go, there you have it. Beautiful boneless flay of rainbow trout. So I hope you guys learned something throughout this video and that you guys can use this at home when you are flaying your catch. Um, so here they are again, beautiful flays that have just sat in salt water and ice and now they're ready for the bag. And then tomorrow they're going on the smoker. How about it? I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you soon. Later.